Hey guys, this is Tony with Thunder Geek Designs. Today I'm back with another web design video. Today I want to talk about how do you find your first web design clients in 2018. Um, sorry web design videos are kind of taking a back seat. There's been some things going on recently that just... This one needed to take a back seat. Been getting into graphic design and InDesign tutorial videos back recently. Um, but let's start with the topic. Uh, remember, web design videos come out Wednesday, so get subscribed for that if you haven't already. So, web design clients are a little bit harder to find than, say, your logo design clients, your graphic design clients, your brochures, and all these other clients. Because these projects are kind of smaller projects that companies might say, well, that's a smaller budget, we can do it when we need to do it. A website, you kind of need to plan for. You need to have a good budget in place to get it done. Um, so... That kind of means that you're going to have fewer clients, but they're going to be higher cost. That's why I offer web design as a pro, uh, a service in my website. So where do you start finding clients? I would say social media. I would say friends and family. Maybe swap those friends and family first if you're starting out as a web designer. And I would also say small businesses in your area. Those are your three you should start looking at when you're starting out as a web designer you're trying to find clients so let's go through those and maybe give some tips or tricks on each of them so let's talk about friends and family first since that's probably the easiest one for any web designer to get clients for um, as a designer you probably know someone in your family that owns a business or someone that's a friend that owns a family or a relative etc maybe a friend of a relative, maybe a friend of a friend that owns a business. These people are more willing to give you a chance than anyone else would be willing to. Um, so I would reach out to them say, hey, I see your website's lacking. Um, I see it needs some work. I'd be willing to do it for you for a good price or even free. Uh, when you're starting out, free's not bad if you get a good help building your portfolio. Um, so that'd be good. And actually help them understand why is their website bad now and what does it need help improvement with? Let's go over some guidelines for all of these that you need to consider. Um, there's certain things that you need to do when you're finding clients that some designers aren't doing that I think they could do better with. Uh, some of those include, you know, looking at your client's site. What are they doing wrong? What is hurting their potential growth? Uh, how can they improve this? Uh, what, are they having ca lead capturing message or prompts in their site. Do they have a contact page? Is their contact page right? Are their services prominent? And do you even know when you get on the home page what you're looking at, what company is, what they do, etc, etc. All these things that help make a good website a good website. Um, I would take that say, hey, I see your website's not that great. Here's some improvements I could see that could help you. Uh, if you want to talk more, we can talk more. And if you want to potentially work, we can work together. Now let's talk social media. Social media is probably the easiest way to find clients today. But instead of family and friends that are going to give you a willing chance, social media, you're going to have to claw and kind of work for it. Uh, everyone's on social media. It is a loud place. Trust me, it is louder than it's ever been. But you can still do it. Um, I say use Twitter searches. So if you go on Twitter and say, I need a web designer. There will be some leads in there that you could find. Uh, if you go into Instagram and start looking at companies in your area, DM them, say, hey, I see your website's not responsive, it's not mobile friendly, uh, et cetera, et cetera. I'd like to talk to you about improvements that could help your business, and let's talk. Um, there's plenty of ways to reach out on social media. I wouldn't drop it yet, um, but I would start looking in Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram, and potentially Facebook also. Uh, those four are probably are going to be your best possible solutions for finding web design clients. So I'd start there, you search a search feature in all of them to try to find either local businesses and look at their website and get feedback or uh, try to find people who are actually searching or posting uh, statuses looking for these things. Tip number three for finding web design clients, I would say local businesses. There's plenty of businesses in everyone's area. Um, and these businesses will probably give you a good chance too if you know you know you're a local guy, you're getting started, and they need someone's help. Um, you can kind of go in and say, "Hey, I look at your website and I see there's some lack of improvement. Um, 
I want to help local businesses grow. Can I sit down with you and we can talk about it and see if I can't help you guys improve? Um, with local businesses, you kind of got to be the good guy. You got to be the nice guy you can. Uh, you got to kind of give a big olive branch to get their work. Uh, local businesses always want help. They always want growth. Um, so you need to help them as much as you can. Um, I guess that's going to do it for this one, guys. If you guys need any more explanation or you just want to talk, leave a comment down below and I'll get down there with you. Remember, web design videos come out Wednesdays. I'm going to try to get them back in the loop again. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.